What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Adeptus Mechanicus Masterclass. We're going to talk about Balsarius Call. Uh, right off the bat, he does not stand out as an auto-include by any means, but we're going to just explore a few ways he's pretty interesting. A few of his things just don't seem as good for his price versus taking a few of the other HQs, but... For one, right off the bat, he has a great stat line. He's a monster. He has melee attacks to help him against vehicles, against tough two-wound infantry, and additional attacks if he gets tied up in a horde. So that's pretty sweet. And if he's within six inches, his gun can do potentially six damage each shot. So if somebody sends in a flyer or something, you know, walk over Balsarius, call him, try to shoot him with your uh, solar atomizer. He gets the canicles. He has a 5 plus invuln. His Lord of the Machine Cult Aura, friendly Adeptus Mechanicus core unit within 6 of this model. Each time, reroll hit rolls of 1. So you're getting to reroll hit rolls of 1 while you're in 6 inches of the Lord of Machine Cult. So. I wish this was a 9-inch aura because this is sort of what the other Tech Priest Dominus is already giving you. So, okay, let's move on. Lord of Mars. This is a Mars core. So if you're running Mars and you got Balsarius, you can give one unit reroll hit rolls. Now, this is his most powerful ability. I really wish this just said Mars unit. That would have made him really unique if he could, say, give breachers or destroyers or vehicles reroll hit rolls that would have been great but it is unfortunately just mars core now don't stress because the best unit in the book is probably the iron striders which just so happen to have six shot crazy good auto cannons or two shot crazy good last cannons and they are core so if you had a big unit of them you could get full rerolls very nice electro priest full rerolls Big old unit of Rangers, full rerolls. Yeah, you can see anything with full rerolls gonna be great. So first turn, you're probably gonna put it on your chickens for that full reroll destruction, just alpha strike the bejesus out of your enemy. And let's say Balsarius Call is gonna hang around. You're gonna continue to do that. If your opponent targets your chickens as they probably should, you'll change that to say big blocks of infantry Maybe a big block of Electro Priest. You know, various uses. Obviously, rerolling hit rolls is good. Also wish maybe that was a 9-inch aura, but... Uh, lead in Prayer, Cult Mechanicus core unit within 6. Balsarius Call and the unit benefit from a different canical, even if it's one that has already been selected. Now, this one's also really restrictive, because Cult Mechanicus core is just the two units of Electro Priest. So, you can see right off the bat, it's kind of limited in its uses. Cult Mechanicus, Core. Once again, kind of wish that would have maybe affected the uh, Breachers or Destroyers. Give them a little something from the Big Daddy. But, these guys are both Beast Mode. These ones are so versatile. They put out so many hits. And now at AP1, it's insanity. They have some of the best absolute stratagems that apply in the book to them. They're so good. So, you know, a unit of these guys, either or, totally worth it. Maybe you start them out in a transport, and if that transport pops, or as long as one's within six, you can give them, say, the three die six, pick the two highest for the charge roll. Uh, you know, give them cover, I guess. Well, the cover's not going to matter because they're saves, but you know what I mean. There's a few canicles that are okay for them. But, yeah, you have this whole big lead in prayer rule. And it gives Valsarius Call his own canical, whatever one you want to give him, plus one unit of Electro Priest, basically. The way they wrote it out, though, it sounds right off the bat like, oh, I can do more, but Cult Mechanicus Call are pretty limiting on your selections here. Because, yeah, if you look here, they're Deptus Mechanicus Core, but your troops are not. So, All right, Master of Machines, you can heal a vehicle or friendly model within three D3 wounds. There's a stratagem to do this twice, so you could heal two vehicles or two models, D3 wounds. Models can only be repaired once. 
And he also heals D3 in your command phase. So eight wounds, two up save, healing D3. Pretty good. He should be pretty tough to bring down. Now, let's jump over just for the overall Mars benefit. Skari, the Skatari units gain the Canicles of Young Messiah. Super great buff for all your troops. Basically everything in your book is getting... Every, everything that's basically getting Doctrines, that's core more or less. Skatari is also getting mechanicals. It's very nice to double up. And then each time a unit is selected to shoot or fight, you can reroll one hit roll. So units nearby are going to reroll ones to hit. And then also they could pick up, say, a two or a three if that happens to miss and reroll that as well. Just one of those. He's not going to get the Warlord trait. It would be cool if he got this axe. This axe is really good for a tech priest if you want to make him slap chop. But, uh, and then of course, Wrath of Mars. What a great idea. If a unit's getting full rerolls to hit, maybe you throw Wrath of Mars on them. You know, could add up on your CP cost, but let's say a unit of 20 Rangers, rapid firing, 80 shots with full rerolls. You know, maybe throw Wrath of Mars on there too to really devastate whatever your target is. Then, if you check out Mechanicals. Uh, Balsarius Call does not get the Doctrines. He's just getting the Canicles. So you got Shroud Song, Light Cover. Uh, double check how that affects monsters, because he is a monster. Uh, plus one Strength Characteristic when you make a melee attack. Because of his unique Strength of 5, he would be Strength 11 with the Arc Surge, Strength 6 with the Mechandrite Hive, and Strength 7 Eight, strength 8 with the Yon Messiah Axe. So if that canicles up, he can pretty much chop at anything in the game. You can ignore a combat attrition test for the unit. Or each time you take the combat attrition, sorry, you ignore modifiers. Okay, whatever. And you get a 5-up save against Mortal Wounds. Uh, Iron Soul. The reroll hit, wound, and damage roll. Always nice. This one, you say give that to... Put that canicle up on the chickens with the last cannons that do D3 plus 3 damage. Give them full rerolls to hit. One of them's rerolling a wound roll. You can also get them reroll ones to wound from a marshal, I believe. And reroll one damage roll. They'll just destroy a heavy target. Pretty incredible. And then you also got this one, which is really nice for the priests. Uh, when you run or charge, roll an additional d6, discard the lowest. The Machine Vengeance is fantastic. And then another nice one, Litany of the Electromancer. While this canicle is active, each time a melee attack is made against this unit, subtract one from the hit roll. This one's pretty solid. Like, if you got a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat going on in the game, especially if you're picking this in your opponent's turn, if they're going first in each battle round, and you have a lot of units in combat, hey, give everybody with the canicles minus one to hit in combat. Not too shabby. So, one other thing, if I can find it, I forgot to bookmark. The Warlord trait. Uh, Balsaris Call if he's your Warlord has to take Master Work Bionics. This gives him a four up invul and minus one damage to a minimum of one. So at toughness 6, 8 wounds, 2 plus save, 4 up invul, minus 1 damage. If he's your warlord, he can actually tank quite a bit of damage. Uh, and he heals. So that's nothing to you know laugh at if you want to try to tie up something. Don't be afraid to charge him in, I don't think. Unless you're really fighting something that can karate chop his face off. You know, I'd use him to fight with. So... And especially if he's rolling with the Electro Priest. Because a unique stratagem that both Balsarius Call and the Electro Priest get. One of the best stratagems in the book. I mean, it's super, super powerful. Is, let me just get the name correct for you. Electro Shocked. Cult Mechanicus Core or Cult Mechanicus Character for 1 CP. Use this stratagem at the start of a fight phase. Select one enemy unit within engagement range. So your opponent charges your Electro Priest or Balsarius Call. In this example, we'll say they charge Balsarius Call. Let's say they charge him with an Imperial Knight. 
They charge while serious call with an... Oh, never mind. Excluding vehicle or monster. Sorry, 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 sorry. Select one enemy unit, excluding vehicle or monster. But let's say they charge them, you know, with an assault unit of some kind. One CP, that gives them the fight last roll, rule, which, because they charged, they get fight first. That gives them fight last. They cancel out and they fight in normal order. Well, normal order is your opponent selects the first unit to fight with, which would be you with Balsarius Call. So if somebody charges Balsarius Call, you can guarantee he strikes before them. Pretty good. It also is incredible on the Electro Priest. But, you know, somebody charges in and you're putting out, unfortunately, only four attacks with the Axe or the Scourge. But, oh boy, that, you know, an extra 2d6 from the Hive. So I think you're going to use him as a healer, a reroll character, this extra canical thing you know think about it because you can give him whatever canical you want every turn because it can already have been one uh that was selected so you're basically giving him a canical every turn and if he's within six of the electro priest you're giving them the same canical so maybe combo him with that or just look at this as he chooses his own canical and yeah he's hitting on twos winning on twos so there you have it all kinds of uh, basically reroll shenanigans with a character that can hang back, fight some stuff if it comes into your lines. He's tanky. He's not going to get sniped out easily. And with that, if he's your warlord, four up invul, minus one damage, makes him super tanky. So there you have it. That's how I would think about Balsarius Call. And he's only coming in at 180. Which, okay, 180 isn't a ton, but the Manipulus, 70, 75, the Dominus, 75, 80, the Marshall, 45, you know, I don't know, 180, man. You could take a Manipulus and a Dominus for about 40 points less than one Balsarius Call and have a variety of buffs to give out. Plus, as you know, the Warlord traits, the, uh, what are they called? The Holy Orders. There's a lot of great things you can do with unnamed characters in this book. So I don't think Call's going to see a ton of play, except, I mean, how devastating is a giant block of balls, uh, what are they called? Iron Strider chickens, uh, re-rolling all their hit rolls. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the Adeptus Mechanicus, please subscribe. We'll be doing basically every unit in the book. And I'm just going to go through a bunch of different ways to play them. I'll probably hit same units multiple times. Uh, we already did the Infiltrators in Mars. But one thing that makes this army so cool and so appealing and just really a great pickup for anybody who wants to play Warhammer 40k, there's such a wide variety of combos, builds, uh, styles to play all kinds of shenanigans in this book. I think it's going to be really fun for a really long time. I don't think you're going to get bored playing this army. If you have a big model collection, you're going to be trying out so many different builds, and there's just so many different combos. And of course, you know, we'll wait and see which one rises to the top, as the Macho Man Randy Savage would say, the cream rises to the top. And, uh, yeah. But if you don't care about winning the LVO or whatever big tournament, which I do not, I think this book's incredible. Super strong rules, super strong units. Balsarius Call's super cool. So try them out. Let me know how you like to use them. And I'll see you in the next one. Please comment down below which unit you want to see next. I'd love to hear from you. Hit the like button.